In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the view of your gradebook or grader report in CU Learn. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the gradebook by clicking on the grades icon or button in the administration block of your course page. This will take you to the grader report located under the view tab in the grade section of CU Learn. This is essentially your course gradebook. When you're in the grader report, you'll see a number of small tagged icons, such as this little pencil here that I'm pointing to. And these icons actually have the ability to change the way that your gradebook displays information. If you have editing turned on, which I'm going to do right now just to demonstrate, you're going to want to make sure that you've saved any of the information that you've added to the gradebook uh, so you don't lose it. So what you have to do is actually click this Save Changes button down here at the bottom of the spreadsheet to make sure everything is manually saved. Once you've saved all changes, you can change the overall display of your gradebook by clicking the small little gray box beside the course name at the top of the gradebook table. For example, if you click on the box with the minus sign, you will minis minimize your gradebook view to include only the course total column. So just watch here, I'll click this little minus sign and ta-da, we have our gradebook with just the course total column showing. Now, if I click on the box with the plus sign, it will expand the gradebook to include all grade items, but no course total column. So just click on that, and there you go. We have all of our whoops, all of our course items displayed, but at the end we can see the, to the course total column is no longer there. If I now go back to click on that little box again, you'll see now it has two little chevrons pointing diagonally. If I click on that, it will return me to a full view of my gradebook, the one that I originally started with. And there you go. I'm actually going to turn editing off now so you can see we're right back at the first page that we opened when I went into the grade section. You also have a few other options for changing your view of the grader report. So for example, if you click on the two up and down arrow icons uh, that are located by pretty much any grade item column, you can switch the view to ascending or descending order based on the grade value for that grade column. So you'll see for this column here, research paper, if I click on that, um, you'll see my grade uh, top grade here is 11. If I switch it, now you can see that 11 has moved to the bottom of the screen because we are um, changing the order in which those numbers appear, those values appear. If I click on the little pencil icon located beside those arrows, let's see what happens. Okay, so this takes me actually to another tab in the gradebook called Single View. And this is really a single view of the grade item that I that I clicked on that pencil for, which was the research paper. So you can see up here, it tells me which grade item I'm looking at. And what this is showing me is all of the marks for my students, along with any feedback that I've provided just for that particular grade item, item, the research paper. Now let's return to the grader report tab and back into our grade book. If I look beside students' names over in the name column, you'll see that I do have a number of icon options here as well to change the view. If you click on the icon that looks like a little list, CU Learn will re redirect you to the user report tab. So let's just give that a shot. Here we go. So now we're in the user report tab and here you will see all the particular uh, student grades for all grade items listed. So uh, in this case I have Ryan as a student and all the grades, <laughs> if there were any grades, would be listed here for each of the assignments in this course. 
Okay, now I'm going to go back to the grader report and show you the other icon, which is the little pencil icon located next to students' names. And if I click on that icon, what we will see is that it takes me to the single view tab and it will display all the individual uh, grades for that particular student. It also shows you uh, any feedback that you've offered that student and uh, whether or not the grade is uh, an override. So there you have it. As you can see, there's more than one way that you can make your gradebook look, um, how you can have a display. You can play around with these options to find basically something that really suits your grading needs.